When people commit crimes, they go to jail. But what happens when animals do? I mean, just look at these raccoon thieves. They've even got little masks and everything. Well, raccoons might get away with it, but if you're a thieving polar bear in northern Canada, your luck's run out. Churchill is a small town located in northern Canada. It's one of Canada's most remote towns. Besides a few Inuit communities and research stations, there's just not much further north. But cold and isolation aren't the only challenges here. Their biggest threats, both statistically and quite literally, are polar bears. Churchill sits on the migration routes of the world's largest carnivore. About 800 polar bears live near the city year-round, but in the summer hunting season, that number swells to thousands. So what happens when one of these snow doggos wanders into the streets looking for food? Well, in the past, bears that wandered into the town were shot, but after some grizzly attacks in 1982 and declining global polar bear populations, they built a prison to punish and scare the bears from coming into the town. Today, when people spot a bear, they call a hotline and someone comes out and tries to scare the bear away with firecrackers and rubber bullets. If that doesn't work, the bear is tranquilized and taken to a holding facility, the world's only polar bear jail. The jail was first built inside a former military aircraft hangar and had 20 12 by 16 foot cells. The bears are kept locked inside these cells for the duration of their sentence, which can be anywhere from 2 to 30 days, or even longer for repeat offenders. When locked up, they're fed only snow and water. Polar bears are adapted to go for months without eating, so this doesn't kill them, but it definitely isn't a pleasant experience. The idea is that extended captivity with no food scares the bears and teaches them to avoid the town. When the bears have finished serving their sentence, they're tranquilized again, fitted with GPS tags, and then a helicopter flies them and releases them outside of town. If a bear can't be released into the wild, like if they're too young or old, they're transferred to a Cinnabone Park in Winnipeg. The polar bear program receives about 300 calls a year, and about 50 bears end up inside the jail. Since the jail was first built, bear-human conflicts dropped significantly, but now they're on the rise. Climate change has made summers longer, delaying when ice forms over the Hudson Bay, ice that the polar bears need to hunt. This late freeze is coupled with an increasingly early thaw, which means that the bears can spend less of the year hunting. This leaves them with not enough time to build up fat to survive the summer months, so bears start looking for other food sources, which brings them to towns like Churchill. So yeah, if you ever think you're having a bad day, just remember at least you're not locked up in a jail with only snow to eat. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos and stay curious.